This is our complete YouTube content creation process that manages everything from your initial YouTube video ideas right through to release. We'll show you how you can implement this exact video creation process right now using free tools. So back when we started this YouTube channel, I used to have stuff everywhere. I'd have random video ideas or notes on my phone. I'd have sticky notes on my desk for different ideas or different reminders, but we had no tracking in place to manage our video creation workflow from ideas right through to upload and release. So we're gonna take you behind the scenes and show you what we're doing now and how you can implement something very similar for your own workflow. And this is gonna be an absolute game changer if you're not doing anything like this already. And this is gonna help you make videos faster too. So a great free tool that we used to use for this is Trello. It's perfect for this kind of stuff at a very simple level. So that could be for some of you a great place to start. But where we've moved up to now is a tool called ClickUp, which is essentially Trello on steroids. And both of these tools have a great free plan that will get you started. All right, so I'm here in ClickUp now and we've switched this over to a board view. So we're able to see this database essentially and we're viewing it in what I think is a really intuitive way. So you can see that we've got these essentially lists here. We've got topic pool, shortlisted, preparing keyword research, ready to shoot. So you can see that these are the steps in the production process that we're going to go through. And I'll talk through these in a little bit more detail as we go, but we have these columns or lists across the top here for each of the different stages. And then inside of each of these lists, we can actually have cards or videos in our case. So let's just say that we wanted to add in a video topic here. We can come up here and we can create a task, it calls it. Right, so we've now got a card here, best video editing software on Mac. So as you come up with random ideas or ideas for video topics, we can add those here in this column topic pool. And I'll show you our live board here very soon once you understand how this works. So it could be that you've got multiple videos in here. I'll go ahead and add in another couple now too. So you can see now in this column here of our topic pool or our ideas, then we have a few different videos here at this stage. So the idea here is that we're able to pick these cards up and we're able to move them along as we progress them in the production process. So let's take this first one here. What is Primal Video Accelerator? If we we're making a video on that topic, then we could go ahead, we could drag it across and it's now being shortlisted. So I guess this is our shortlist of videos, not just random ideas that we may never make. This is our shortlist that we're likely going to make at this point. From there, we can move into the preparation stage, which is where we're gonna go ahead and do some research, some keyword and topic research. And obviously if you guys want help with any of these things, there's a bunch of resources linked down below to help you with scripting and planning and obviously shooting, editing, uploading your videos as well, bunch of resources. So the research phase gets done next. Then when videos are ready to shoot, they're in this column. So for me, when it comes time to shoot videos, I know that all the ones in this column here are ready for me to shoot. All that planning and prep and everything is already done at this point. Then once the video is shot, it goes into this next column here, preparing for edit. This is where we might be uploading footage to Google Drive, grabbing any extra B-roll, overlay, music, any of that stuff that we need to provide to our editors, that's done at this point, or even to prepare for yourself. You haven't officially started editing yet, so this is that preparation stage. Once you've started editing, goes to the next column, very self-explanatory. Once the editing's done, we move to the next column here, which is preparing for release. So this is where you could be crafting your video description, making sure your thumbnail and everything is good to go. This is where also where you could upload your video and schedule it so it's ready for release. And then after that, we wanna do a final review or a last minute check to make sure that everything is good to go. And obviously once your video is released and live on YouTube, then you wanna move it here into the released column here, which is essentially the completed column. Now, obviously this is completely customizable and you can build this out to suit your workflow, but to add a column, in this case it's called a status, we just wanna click on the end here. So let's say that we wanted to have an additional column in here for uh, creating a thumbnail for our video. We can do that, we can pick a color for it. Maybe we'll go yellow, let's hit save. And then we can choose where in the process we want this to happen. So let's press the three little dots on here. Let's choose edit statuses and let's bump this up to happen just after editing. We can then hit apply changes and that's now reflected here as well. So you can see how easy it is to get set up, to add these videos in, to pick them up and move them throughout the process as well. But obviously we can get so much more advanced with this too. Each one of these cards here, we can click on and we can store a bunch of information in. 
So for this video here, how to edit faster, once we've done the keyword and topic research, we can add all of the information that we want in here. You could add your full script in here. We can add in our release date. So we can track all of this in a calendar view. We can connect this with Google Drive, Dropbox. There's so many different integrations in here where we can have our thumbnail image linked. We can have our final video linked in here as well. Because as you can see, you've got your attachments and everything down here too. And for those of you that are working with a team, then you can assign these different tasks or these different steps to different members on your team as well. So if you've got someone that is doing keyword research for you, maybe at this stage, you're assigning that person here to that task. But this is a great starting place, somewhere where you've got to manage all of your video ideas, and then you're able to then track how many videos you've got ready to shoot, how many you're actually editing, right through to how many are ready to upload and release on your channel. So let's jump across now and let's look at our live board here for Primal Video and you'll see how much we've kind of evolved this over time now that we do have team as well. Okay, so this is our live production board here. Again, you'll see the same setup with very similar titles or lists across the top here, but we've also got a bunch of extra ones added now too and I'll explain those as we go. So we've still got our topic pull here. This is our list of video ideas as we scroll down. There's a lot in there that we can go through. Some of these we may never make. Others of them will get shortlisted here and progress through the process. But we have also added a column to the left here, Icebox. Right now there is nothing in here in Icebox, but those are the ones that we're unlikely to make. So we've moved them out of the topic pools. Maybe we've discussed them as a team, but they're on ice. It's unlikely we're gonna make them. We haven't totally removed them, but it's unlikely they're ever gonna progress. So that's what that column there is for. Beyond that, we're still shortlisting our videos down. So I'll jump on a call with the team and we will shortlist some of these topics down. Which ones are we gonna focus on for this month? The next column across here, JB Notes. This is where I will note down any key points as to what I think the video could be about after our discussion with the team or after our initial brainstorming. Now this next column here isn't really treated as a regular column. This one here is for an automation where it adds a video reference number now, as I said, We've progressed a little bit, where it adds a unique reference number for our tracking of videos. We have over 580 or something on the channel now, so it makes us easier to manage things at scale. But the next one here, this is a super important one. This is that research column, where these videos here are going off for keyword research. So I've got keyword and script. MK is Matia on the team. So really anything that's in this column here, you can see is automatically assigned to Matia. So when Matia is online and working on keyword research, it's clear here that these are all the videos for her to work on. We've added a step here for keyword research review. So Mike on the team can review in bulk or in batch these videos that have been scripted and researched at this point. If there's any changes or feedback on these, then it will go to this final stage here, review. So there's extra changes to be made. And then from here, the videos move across to this presenter review. Because if you haven't noticed, it's not just me making videos on our channel now. But in this stage, we can review the scripts and if there's any issues or the video has taken a totally different direction to where we thought that it was originally, then we can review all of that at this point and either move it back if we need to, but I don't think we've ever needed to do that. Or we move it forward from here onto the next one, which is where there is a research piece in terms of the content. So let's look at the videos in this column here now, detailed research. These videos have been keyword research. They have an optimized title here. These are ready from the team's side for us to shoot, but there's no content locked down because me or the other presenters haven't added the content in at that point. So in the case of say this video here, best smartphone accessories for video under X dollars, right? So we haven't locked down what those smartphone accessories are and we haven't locked down what that price is. So at this point, the detailed testing is where we'll go and purchase a bunch of smartphone gear, test it out, the stuff that is great and that we wanna share with you guys. Then we'll also then work out what price that was around. We'll adjust the title and build out the rest of the video from here. So once that research piece is done, it gets moved across to ready to shoot. And this is where everything is good to go for the presenter or myself to be able to shoot a video. No further research or anything is needed at this point. So then on the days where I'm gonna lock down and film a few videos, I know that these ones in this list here are all good to go. Now you can also see that we've got some extra information here as well. We've got planned release date. So once we have a planned release date, we can enter that in here, which you'll see in a few others as we move along. And you can also see that we have our presenter assigned here as well. So I love that all of this is customizable, but you can still do some of these things in Trello too. 
after our video is shot, it then goes in this column here where the initial edit is done. So we can again see at a quick glance, all of these videos here have been shot and they are waiting to be editing or editing has started on them. Once the editing has happened and there is a video for me to review, then it will show up in this column. If I've got any changes, I'll move it across to the next column where once that's done, I can review it again. If I didn't have any changes from this first version, then I can bump it down here for someone else on the team to review before it goes out. So those next columns here are for other people to review the videos too. Once that review stage is done, then that's where we jump to the next one here, which is final changes. So our editors know here that videos are ready to be finalized. If there was any changes or feedback during the feedback process, they can finalize the video here, they can upload it to Google Drive, they can save out the masters in this case. Once they've finalized the video, there is one last quick sanity check. Video review, final. But for this one, I'm normally skimming through at two to three speed because we've already done the bulk of the reviewing. So it's really just a sanity check. Is there anything that totally got missed? If I'm watching this at two or three speed, if I'm picking up stuff at that point, then it's probably worth us making those adjustments. If not, if it looks good at that speed, then we're moving it on to the next one here, which is ready to schedule. And this is where someone then will schedule this up on YouTube. Once it's scheduled and ready to go out, that's on the next column here. So we can see this video here is going out. This is the planned release date is Thursday. And then once it's been released, it moves to the completed column here. So you can see all of our previous YouTube videos here, they're all here in this column. And we leave them here in case we wanna access this again. Or for us, we remake a lot of videos every year, we update them. So we can pull this information, the keyword research and all of that stuff back from our previous year's version two. So if this seems overwhelming for you, definitely go back and implement something like I showed you first, but you can see how we've built and evolved this to work with our team now, now that we've grown. And again, inside of each one of these, let me just click on this one here, seven crazy CapCut video editing features. If I select on this and open it up, then you can start to see the types of things that are in here. We can have conversations with team members related to this video specifically. We can link directly to the Google documents and things that are related to this content. If we scroll down here further, you can see we've got some custom fields that are set up. So we've got a direct link here to our project folder on Google Drive for this. We've also got one right for our export folder. So if we just want to find the finished video, then you can click on this and it's going to be in that folder. And honestly, I'm just scratching the surface of what's possible in here, but know that this is an amazing tool that you can build out and evolve with over time. Now, one of the things I absolutely love about this workflow is the automations that you can build out in here. So as a video moves from one column to another column, then it can automatically assign and notify a team member that this is now waiting for them but also again that anyone on the team can quickly see where every video is at. So we don't have to waste time jumping on meetings and those kinds of things or messages going back and forth. Anyone at any time can jump in here, scroll through and see where everything is at. So while we use ClickUp for this now, it's also not just what we're using ClickUp for. ClickUp is literally the one tool that runs my entire life, integrating with calendar, all my to-do lists and daily tasks, everything is in there. And if you wanna see an overview of that, check out the video that is linked on screen now. As always, we've got a bunch of other resources and related content linked in the description box to help you further and I will see you in the next video.